Okay, so we can also control the number of cells through um, survival factors. So when you are uh, developing your neurons, for example, um, you secrete a certain amount of survival factors. Um, so that's only enough to sustain a certain amount of cells. So if you have a whole bunch of neurons, well, um, not all of them are going to survive if you only have this much um, survival factor. So uh, half of them are actually going to, uh, I mean, depending on the amount, not necessarily always half, but you'd be losing um, some of those neurons um, because there is not enough survival factor to sustain them. Um, you can also have survival factors um, that help uh, make, uh, like to help stimulate this transcription factor, which is going, which is going to help eventually uh, produce uh, BCL2 um, anti-apoptotic protein. Um, so remember, the BCL2 family has both uh, pro-death and or pro-apoptotic and anti-apoptotic uh, proteins. Um, so these pro-apoptotic, I mean these anti-apoptotic uh, proteins are going to uh, keep the cell alive. So you can also regulate um, cell number by um, mitogens. So if you increase mitogens, which we already talked about, then you can also uh, increase cell proliferation. Um, for controlling the cell size, you would use um, growth factors, uh, but there's also limiting signals such as myostatin, which limits um, the amount that uh, muscles can grow.